Hello. This is a comparison video, uh, I think you could call it, between, no, I've just put, got a whole handful of knives here, the GEC Bull Buster 21 with the GEC Sod Buster 71 and the Smith & Sons Mud Bug, which is ostensibly a GEC made Bull Buster pattern. Uh, with some differences. So I'm going to go through all of these. Um, just so I'm just going to give you my personal thoughts and opinions. Um, and then you can make up your own minds uh, based on what you see. But um, nothing bad about any of them. They're all absolutely glorious. They all have their slight different quirks and, uh, and things. So let's get into it. We'll start off with the Orange Delrin. So we have at the top the Bull Buster, the 21, and underneath the Sod Buster, the 71, both made by GEC. This, the Bull Buster, brand new, unused. The Sod Buster, a, a daily carry, very heavily used. Um, so a half stop on the 71, no half stop on the 21. Fully open, this has a lock back. It's, I suppose, quite a different beast, really. Hang on, whoop. Need more hands. Quite a different uh, beast, the Bull Buster. Significantly bigger, a lock back, so significantly sturdier. The 71, the Sod Buster underneath, has a half stop but no lock back. Oh, that would be cool if it had a lock back. I think it would. Uh, just on that, uh, Burka make a Sod Buster with a lock back. I had one, it's all right. It, it lacks the charm of the, uh, of the GEC. Anyway, that's an aside. So, other than the lock back, they're the same. It's the same steel, it's the same shape, it's the same feel, it's the same materials, uh, the liners are the same. Everything is familiar and clearly related. The Bull Buster is um, bigger, just in every dimension except width now hang on have I got that right so the actual width of the knife 13 mm yeah so the actual width is the same everything else is is uh, amplified well which is better yeah it really there is no which is better it's um it's depends on your use the sod buster is so useful so useful easy to use simple um no no lock just however nice and firm close half stop lovely snap this could do with a bit of a clean up it's uh, it's been in my pocket on various adventures uh, this is what the steel the carbon steel sort of does once it's uh, it's seen the light of uh, some action um the rust i <laughs> I need to give that a bit of a clean up. So this is a 21 from 2018. So this is uh, this is a little bit of an antique now. Uh, I need to give that a clean up. As I said, uh, I, I, uh, I'm, not, I'm not embarrassed. Um, it happens, doesn't it? I, I will clean off those rust spots. Both F and F, so Farm and Field, that's the, um, the sort of the tool uh, sub-brand of GEC, Great Eastern Cutlery. The so the far the, the ball buster massive lock back nice and sturdy like easily fit my whole hand on the handle that is a useful tool the sod buster uh, significantly smaller I can still fit yeah my whole hand on there but that's gonna fold onto my onto my finger so I just need to be a little bit careful this is not quite as heavy duty both fantastic the orange is great isn't it drop that in the in the the leaves the leaves. The leaves in the woods or um, in the grass or uh, out and about and you'll sp it'll be easier to spot than the than the linen micata which just blend into the background okay so that's the orange delrin put that to one side now the um, natural linen micata ball buster uh, I don't need to compare that to the sod buster you've, you've got the you've got the idea about the, the dimensions now before I got hold of the Bull Buster, I had a Mudbug. 
Now this, this is really going some now. Um, let's just get them side by side. So uh, the mud bug, you probably know about it. If you don't, the mud bug, this one, this particular one, uh, dates back to 2017. Now this was made, uh, so it's 1095 steel, um, it's the same shape, it's the same thickness, the handle shape is the same, uh, the profile definitely different. So we're going to look at that in a minute. Now, just to come back to it, the uh, the bottom one, the mud bug, made by Smith and Sons, well, sold by Smith and Sons, the bottom one, but actually made by GEC in those days. Uh, so this bottom knife uh, is, to all intents and purposes, a GEC knife. So this is 2017. So this is seven years ago. Uh, this this was made, and then. This year, 2024, actually just the end of 2023, uh, this was made, but it's it's stamped uh, 2024. And so this is GEC made and branded and sold by GEC. Basically the same knife. Um, with differences. What are the differences? Right, let's have a look. Let's get into it. Obviously the the stamps and the branding are different. Uh, on the left the mud bug Smith & Sons USA, on the right Farm & Field Tool Made in USA. Uh, on the, the pivot there F&F, &F, so that's Farm & Field, that's the sub-brand GEC USA. On the mud bug, nothing. Plain. I like that. I like it when it's subtle and uh, brand, unbranded. Then we move down the scales, brass pin, nickel pin, uh, keep going down here, um, brass lanyard tube, just straight, flared lanyard tube. Then the scales, uh, then the, the liners, uh, the same 1095 steel as the blade on both. The lock back. Same shape, same position, same action. Um, now, I'm going to close them both up. So the, so the mud bug, I mean, it's one of my all-time favourites. Flawless movement action is solid. The um, bull buster, I haven't used it. It's This is uh, has been in its tube, nice and safe. Uh, same, flawless, solid. Now, the key, key difference is the scale, are the scales, I should say. Now, in profile, there is a big difference. The mud bug is squared, the um, bull buster is rounded. So one is smooth, the other is... Well, it's not that it's not smooth, it's not sharp in any way. It's just a, well, a completely different profile. And thinner. So, uh, that is the key difference I would say. So the mud bug width is 11 millimeters. The bull buster width is 14 millimeters. Obviously verging on irrelevant, but there's a very different feel in the hand between the mud bug and the bull buster. Obviously the micata is different too. The mud bug, this particular one, natural canvas micarta, the bull buster natural linen micarta. Over time, um, you're probably not going to notice much difference. The mud bug has a real texture to it. I can almost feel the the bumps of the canvas under my thumb. Not so on the bull buster. It's not fair to compare because the, the, this is seven years old. This is brand new. Nothing's happened to this yet. This. This has lived. This has been exposed to the, to the to the world, uh, and it's uh, matured over time. But personally, the mud bug is a, is king in my in my pocket. It's it, absolutely fantastic. Absolutely love it. I love that it's sleek. I love that it's um, thin and discreet almost. It 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 poses no threat. It's a nice uh, functional knife. 
that blade shape is unbeatable lovely and straight super sharp that that 1095 is so super sharp nice point you can do stuff with uh i mean it's it, you can see it's it's lived but it's been loved it's great and uh one one thing to to note actually uh, as a user it um, that lockback gets gunked up quite easily uh if you if you're using whatever you're using it on by the end of the day uh this action gets quite slow and clogged and the the lock is gets more difficult to release so it does need a good clean out for it to function smoothly the um the ball buster i haven't used it but it will be the same uh so this whole action the lock and the release very dependent on it be on this area being clean so it needs a good rinse out and a dry off regularly so that's it uh, just a comparison um, and, a, and, a, and a hell of a waffle uh, between the, the the ball buster and the mud bug to me the the mud bug is is never going to be um, superseded in my pocket that's an absolute uh, it's, it's it's one of the universal truths taxes deaths and the mud bug that's a really stupid thing to say or is it maybe i'll get that tattooed on my forehead taxes deaths and the mud bug anyway uh and the delrin i mean these two however the, 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 there's nothing really um to say i, I reckon that they both have a place in your pocket they serve different roles different purposes they're cool, aren't they? Really cool. Not sure about my little leather lanyard. I might change that. Right, I'm waffling on. Have a look around my channel. There's other knife reviews. There's EDC reviews. I do watches as well. Leave a comment below. Keep it nice, please. The world is a difficult enough place as it is. Comment, like, uh, subscribe. That's the one. Subscribe, please. We'd really appreciate a subscribe. Right, thanks very much for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. See you soon.